Good morning and welcome to Rancid's channel. Tales of woe. So uh, about six months ago, our local road, um, I suppose authority, if you can call it, used to run by the council, then they set up this balloon called Island Roads. Um, it's kind of a subsidiary, whether it's privatized or not, not quite sure. But our roads over here are quite bad, as are most people's now. Um, put a couple of complaints in, because um, I like Tinkerbell, a little Mark III Fiesta. I changed the wishbones on that, I think two times in two years, so less than a year um, out of each one. Not particularly good really, it's not normal wear and tear. A couple of places I noticed that I complained to our local island roads about how bad it was and got a response basically beating me down saying, no, the roads are fine. Um, particular bump at the bottom of George Street in Ride. Um, went over it, the bang was just, oh, wow, a real proper horrible bang, metal to metal bang. Reported it, no, there's nothing wrong, the road surface is fine there. So on the way home, yeah, uh, Friday, two days ago, driving home, happened to hit the same said bump, which, um, took out the cup and a spring on the track control arm which was less than a year old. Let's go and see if you can see what's underneath here. There you go, there she is. So, now I don't particularly want to have to take the whole arm off again. So I'm hoping I've got a clamp that I made up that I can I've luck I've got another ball joint. The club are going to send me another one because obviously it's under a year old. But um, I'm going to try and see if I can do it in situ, which will be different because normally you've got to take the arms off to do it to clamp them in place. But the ball joint's already clamped in place against the things, against the actual uh, link on the bottom of the strut house. I'm hoping that I might be able to do it in situ rather than taking it off the car, but we'll see how we get on. Well, after a pig of a session, it's in, <laughs> can be done. Um, sorry, hand's shaking it. Sir clips in. Chasing to park the car right in the uh, way of sunshine. So I'm looking right into the sun like I did, but it's been done. So there we go, it can be done in situ. So if anyone wants to know what the uh, tool is, looks like I did used to do the uh, track control arms, here it is. G, just like my name. So um, I made it many years ago for doing anglers. Just basically cut the end off a G clamp and well, well, I think I riveted that on. Wow, don't remember doing that. Um, yeah, so that's what I did. I just made a little fork to go on the end. It goes around the ball joint. Just a normal G clamp. You could probably just modify a normal G clamp. Just take the end out. Maybe cut the tube that the, the stopper goes in and Bob's your uncle. A bit different on the console Capri and Classic because the um, track control arms have got a an angle on the um, top lip where the ball joint goes in, whereas I think on the anglers I'm pretty sure they're flat. Hence why I made it flat. But it did work. I've got it on there, so there you go. 